So guys, I'm back and here we go. Game four, James Bond scene at the last game. And then after that, hopefully later, since I'm starting it right now, earlier in the day, it's still like in the morning times right now. But I decided to get ready and do this. So here we go, fourth and final game of James Bond scene it. And then hopefully later I can do at least game one of Disney scene it second edition. Hopefully. So not much to say right now, so let's go ahead and get it started. So let's get going. And remember in the count from the last game, we had like 24 all plays, I believe, and only 5 my plays. And of those, only one was complete. And today we're starting with an all play. Alright. So game 4 begins with an all play. And we're starting with Invisibles. And it's identify the movie. Um, crap. What would this one be? Oh, it's the living daylights. Trivia card. Random task a shoe throwing Austin Powers character was a parody of which Bond villain? Odd job at Goldfinger. Oh yeah, like Odd job throws his hat, this random task guy in Austin Powers, he throws a shoe. Yeah. No trivia card. Besides the James Bond films, Joe Don Baker and Pierce Brosnan appeared in which 1996 Tim Burton film? Mars Attacks. Another trivia card. Who owns WW Tetronics and Diamonds Are Forever? Willard White. That makes sense since it's his initials. Another all place, second one of the game. Alright, what's all play number two gonna be? Overtures. Oh, we've had this one. For your eyes only. We already had this one. It's for your eyes only. See, they revealed the title. Right there. Gave it away. And then finally it appears up there. I'm trying to remember which game we had that one in. It was in, um... Now, we didn't have an Overtures in game one. I believe it was... It was either game two or three. Because... Eh. Anyways. There's no cue cards. Trivia card. There we go. Richard Keel appeared in Silver Street 1976, Pale Rider 1985, and as what character in two Bond films, Jaws, in The Spy Who Loved Me and Moonraker. All play number three. Alright, what's our third all play going to be? My six classified. Jen. We had this one. She worked for Auric, but played with Jane. Joe Masterson. Odd job painted her. She died a true golden girl. Yep, odd job was the one who painted her gold. Jill Masterson. 
Goldfinger. Yep. Oddjob was the one who painted her gold, and the golden girl was Jill Masterson. We actually had that one in the last game, in game three. So I remembered where that one was. It was in game three, makes a reappearance here. Except the first time I didn't get it. But that one did stick with me, so now I know it. There's no cue cards, come on. Trivia card. Which film made more money at the U.S. box office, Octopussy or Never Say Never Again? Um, Octopussy? Yep. It actually had two choices for a guess. And I picked the right one. Alright, land on the star, so an all play. All play number four. Next time we land on the star, it's a my play. Alright, fourth all play. The last word. Alright. Oh, we hadn't had this one. What does Q say next? I believe it's A. I think he's the attempted re-entry, sir. I think he's attempting re-entry, sir. Yep. Got that one right. <laughs> he saw it. <laughs> oh, man, he saw that it was, um... He saw that thing was on and was showing them in there. Trivia card. What 007 film features a British Secret Service office located in the wreck of an ocean liner? The man with the golden gun. Alright. And we get a my play. Didn't take that long this time. We didn't have like the results of it like it was in game one and three. Where in games one and three, it got to like Seven all plays when a my play finally showed up. Here, we've only had four all plays so far, and a my play appears. But great. Now that means I have to worry about incomplete ones every time we get a my play. It, it's this one again. It, it's going to cut out. It's this clip again, and we know this one cuts out, but it's going to cut out at the end, watch. Gonna cut out the end. Watch. See? There is one thing I want to know, though. How did they do that? How did they make him look like that? That rubber form after he swallowed it, after he comes flying out of the water. How did they do that? Like, there had to be some weird effects that they had to use, because, of course, back in the 70s, there was like different ways they had like the technology stuff. So how did they do that? How'd they make them look like a rubber balloon or something? How'd they do that? That's what I've been wondering every time I've seen that part. Like, how did they make him look like that? But, I'll be right back. Gotta get it reloaded. Alright, I got it back. So great. Our first my play of the game and it's an incomplete one. 
That's why I wish it was just mostly laying on the all plays like it did throughout the last game. It landed on my play again, so great. Second my play. Like, I just really hope that when I do the Disney scene at second edition, I hope it does not do that with the my plays. I really hope it doesn't. Okay, I don't think we've had this clip yet. Oh, we haven't had this clip yet. So let's see if this one works. Dang. The guy's just like, oh my god. Oh! I want the back part. This one did it too? Ah! Dang it. I really apologize for this happening, but I know a few of the clips haven't done that. We haven't had that clip yet, so I was wondering if it would work or not. That one with the Living Daylights where they're going down the cello case, that one works. But, why don't most of these other ones? <sighs> Gotta reload it again. Alright, we're back again. And now the only thing I can really say about the my plays is that is if we get a clip we haven't had yet, I just gotta have some hope for it. Or if it's one I know one of the few that I know that does work, then it's good. Okay, it landed on a trivia card. Which James Bond film was the last to feature Lois Maxwell's Miss Mini Money Penny? A view to a kill. No trivia card. Martin Beswick, who plays Paul in Thunderball, had appeared as Zora in which earlier James Bond film, From Russia With Love? Another my play, third one. Great. I just wanted to keep landing on all plays, because... At least the all plays don't do that. They don't cut out. The all plays work fine. Uh, we haven't had this one. We haven't had this clip, so let's see. Oh, there you go. Oh! Damn! Backseat driver. Backseat driver. Which ejector seat button was pushed to eject the villain? Oh, this one did work. Okay. Um. By which ejector seat button it's, um. Two. Oh, the second one. And this is from Tomorrow Never Dies. So finally, a my play that works. In this game. The third my play of the game, and it's the first complete one. So the game can continue fine. And all play, there we go. At least the all plays don't cut out and do that thing. The all plays don't um, go to that thing and it go back to the menu of the video player. So fifth all play of the game. Oh, it's a decoder. All right. Stop lagging. We had this one. A view to a kill. I love the music.
and some of these um songs in the game i know where they're what um some of the music in the game i know which film they're from like that piece there during decoder and some of the other categories like translations it plays during that too i think it plays in the on assignment one that's from the lemon daylight now i really want to ask this question now even if i do get the all play to win correct i'm still going to do final cuts because i've been thinking about this that i wanted to ask in the final cut on all three of the images like on all three of the parts what's the background music used in each of those films like actually i think the middle one for the final cut was in tomorrow never dies but which one was the first one and the third one from but I sp you can tell me like which one the first and the third one are from and if the second and you can go ahead and say if the second one is tomorrow never dies but um but i really want to know what the third one's from you can tell me about all of them, which ones all of them are from, including that one. Because I know that piece dirty decoder, that's from the Living Daylights, because I was actually looking up OST um, music in the Bond films, and I found it under the Living Daylights. It's a cool little piece, though. Next one. Trivia card. Jupiter 16 is a space capsule featured in what 007 film? You only live twice. Trivia card again. What Beatles film used many of the same Nassau locations as Thunderball? Help from 1965. We missed the same year Thunderball came out. All play number six. Lots of silhouette. Identify the Bond girl. Alright. Oh, that's, um... Kissy Suzuki. Played by me, Hama, I think is how you say her last name. And she is from You Only Live Twice. She's the ball girl in that film. Another my play. Here we go. Number four now. Although the last one was a complete one. And you know what? If plenty of these clips that we haven't had before, like, that we have had, I'm just going to start hitting skip on them. And even if it takes me to the thing... Oh, we've had this clip, but it did work. The last time we had this clip, it did work. It did take us to a question. So it should work. And then he starts singing in a bit. I promise you, you won't either. I promise you, you won't. Stay where you are. I can assure you my intentions are strictly honorable. Hmm, strictly honorable. What is the name of the island where this scene takes place? Okay, we didn't get that question last time, though. It was, what does Bond promise he won't steal? The shells. But, two in a row that are complete. There we go. Crab Key, and it's from Dr. No. So that's two in a row for my plays that are complete. The first two weren't, the latter two are. Third and fourth ones are. Hopefully it stays that way. It keeps going like that. Now I won't have to worry about that in the all plays. The all plays are working fine. Trivia card. Tatiana Romanova worked in the Soviet consulate located in what city and from Russia would love? That would be Istanbul, Turkey. 
Another all play, number seven. All right, all play number seven. Invisibles identify the villain. Francisco Scaramanga, the man with the golden gun. And he is played by Christopher Lee. Rest in peace. Christopher Lee died a few years ago. I think. Died a few years ago. Yep. Another mic play, number five. This is the one I was talking about. Oh, there's the music. This clip does work. It does take us to the question. So we're okay on this one. So three in a row that are complete. Oh, I hit the cello. Should get a question because this clip has worked. Yep. What was the only other movie that starred Timothy Dalton as Bond? Yeah, this is from The Living Daylights, and the other film is Licensed to Kill. I think we had that question when the, we got it in game one. Because, yeah, I got that one right. Because I think this clip, yeah, I remember this clip appearing in game one. And it might have been the same exact question. Another all play, number eight. There we go. At least I don't have to worry about the all plays cutting off on me or going back to the media player menu. All right, number eight. Visual Puzzlers. This was not in the last game, but it did appear in game two. Um, we didn't get, have this one though. This um answer here, whatever this is. It's the Trans-Siberian Pipeline. Oh wait. We just had the clip there, the living daylights. We just had that part in the last image where they're on the cello case. Like, that was in that clip. But yeah, Visual Puzzlers does not appear that much in this game, in James Bond scene. It was not in games one and three, but it was in the even numbered games. It was in game two, it made its first appearance there, and it reappears in this game. But it was not in the odd number of games, games one and three. Alright. Another my play, number six. Great. Hopefully four in a row for completed ones. Because we might actually finally get a sequentials if that's the case. If we get a completed clip here. Completed my play. We've had this clip. Wait a minute. And it didn't work. I'm just going to go ahead and skip. Oh, wait a minute. Ah. Oh, on which shoulder does Bomb wear his holster? I, I thought it wasn't going to work. I forgot about it. Or no, wait a minute. Oh, man. His left, and it's from Thunderball. Actually, I just remembered. In the last game, or game two, when we got that clip, it asked a question about the character named Fiona. It asked a question about her. 
I forgot about it. At least we knew that was a completed one, so that's four in a row. So maybe we might finally get a sequentials where we have to put some of the Bond films in order. Four selections. And we got another my place, so let's see. Number seven. Indeed we do. Yes, we get to see the sequentials. Okay. It's... It's C... CDBA. CDBA. Yep. Thunderball, 65. The Man with the Golden Gun, 74. For Your Eyes Only, 81. And The Living Daylights, 87. So, yeah. Now, these sequentials I can be good at organizing the Bond films. So, there we go. We got to see the category. But wait, don't, li don't lag there. Alright. Yes, we got to see the category at least once. There we go. Trivia card. What former 007 appeared as JB on television in The Return of the Man from Uncle, 1983? George Lazenby. Oh yeah, he only had one film, on Her Majesty's Secret Service. That was the only Bond film that starred him. All play number nine. It's on assignment, alright. Venice. Wait. We've had this one. No, wait, no we didn't. Rio de Janeiro. Because Venice was in another one of them. Outer Space. Moonraker. Never mind, we haven't had this one. Yep, Moonraker. Because... Venice was in another one of them. Wasn't it from Russia with Love? Like, on there, was it from, like, another one of them? But then when I saw the Rio de Janeiro one, Janeiro one come up, I knew it wasn't that. And then the Outer Space one gave it. I knew it was Moonraker. At the end of the film, they go to Outer Space. There's no cue cards. Another all play, number 10. All play clip. Identify the movie. Alright. The man with the golden gun. We had this in the last one. That <laughs> evil can evil. We had this in the last game. It's the man with the golden gun. And I already talked about the interaction between Bond and J.W. Pepper in the last game, how they interacted in that film, but not in Live and Let Die. So. Trivia card. What Bond film featured the 360-degree Astro Spiral car jump? The Man with the Golden Gun. That We just had that clip! <laughs> we just had the clip right there, too. And now it asks it on Trivia card. <laughs> Perfect timing. Another one. Major Dexter Smith was the father of which Bond woman? Octopussy. Another all play, number 11. So we're at 11 all plays and 7 my plays. Now for the count. And it's another visual puzzlers. Alright. Um. Um. Thunderbolt. Yep, it is from Thunderbolt.
Another all play, number 12. Another visual puzzler. Jesus, two in a row. Oh, that's from, um, Live and Let Die. That's an easy one. Yep, Live and Let Die. Yep, Live and Let Die. Trivia card. Which Bond leading lady also appeared with Elvis Presley in Fun in Acapulco, 1963? Ursula Andrus. Wasn't she Honey Rider in Dr. No? I believe, I mean, I believe she was the actress who played her. Another all play, number 13. Now the all play counts pulling ahead. Alternates. I don't think we had this category in the last game. I believe game remaining lender wraps for the queen. Um, remaining under wraps, not lender. Under. Is on Her Majesty Secret Service? Yep. But yeah, that category I believe did not appear in last game, in game three. And it was in games one, it was in game one, I believe it was in game two, so... Yeah, game three was the only game where that category didn't appear. Another all play, number 14. Spellbinder. Okay, I don't want wait. I don't remember seeing this category in the last game either. Karen Bay. What? It just ended right there, but that is the answer. It is Karen Bay. That was strange. But yeah, I don't remember Spellbinder being in the last game, so that means, like with alternates, that one did not appear in game three. I don't remember seeing it. Translations wasn't in that one either, but I believe it was in games one and two. Trivia card. Which Bond actress also appeared in Undercover Brother 2002 in Starship Troopers 1998? Denise Richards. And landed on the star, so it's my play. Because we hadn't landed on uh, landed on it much. So my play number eight. But we did get the sequentials. But let's see what our clip is. Oh, we haven't had this clip. Okay. It's invisible. Ah. Maybe you've been down here too long. The ultimate in British engineering. You must be joking. As I learned from my predecessor, Bond, I never joke about my work. Ah. Aston Martin call it the vanquish, we call it the vanish. There it is. Oh, very good. Adaptive camouflage, tiny cameras on all sides project the image they see onto a light-emitting polymer skin on the opposite side. You see, to the casual eye, it's as good as invisible. Plus all the usual refinements, eject seat torpedoes, target seeking shotguns to shoot down mobile objects. Why don't you acquaint yourself with manuals? You'll be able to shoot through that in a couple of hours. Just took a few seconds, Q. Wish I could make you vanish. Mm. What is the make and model of the car? It's an Ashton Martin Vanquish. And this one is a complete one. There we go.
Yep, Aston Martin Vanquish. It's from Die Another Day. And as you can saw, that was John Cleese. The only film where he was Major League Q. Now, I know he did appear in The World Is Not Enough. That's when um, Desmond Lulin, however you say his last name, he was Q in most of the films up to that point. That was his last appearance. However, the Q in that film, Die Another Day, he was actually named R in The World Is Not Enough. He didn't appear much after that opening scene, but here he is Q. But he did not appear as Q. And John Cleese, as you know, is the one who's saying all the stuff in MI6 Classified. He um, also says the another successful mission complete when you win the game. Another role play, number 15. It's a sound clips. This appeared as the very last all play of game three. We've had this one. As you know, Die another day. I'm always trying to give the planet something in return for what it has given me. Those little shards of heaven known as diamonds. Now diamonds aren't just expensive stones. They are the stuff of dreams. And the means to make dreams real. But yeah, this was this was the same exact answer one two that appeared as the final all play of game three. And Sound Clips was the very first all play of game one. It appeared in game two, I believe, so it did make an appearance in all four games. Pretty much as that is. Another all play, number sixteen. Coder, all right. Time to hear that Living Daylights music again. Oh, we haven't had this one. Loper shows trivium. Crap! What is it? It's not View to a Kill. It's um. Tomorrow never dies. Oh wait, no, that has no F in it. Ah. Oh, I was from Russia with love. Dang it. Ah. Another my play. Number nine. Yep. So we're at 16 all plays, nine my plays. We've had this clip, but nobody cuts and runs on Chef G. W. Pepper. I'll go ahead and let it play. Him speaking that, by the by. We've had this clip, but I'll go ahead and let it play. It did work too the last time we had it, I believe. When did the sheriff's bullet hit? The engine on Bond's boat. Yep, the engine on Bond's boat, and that's from Live and Let Die. Now we had that clip before, it did work. It gave us a question. So this is the most complete in my plays we've had in James Bond seen it so far. Because of all the completed my plays in games one, two, and three, were not as much as this. So the my plays have been the most successful in this one, in the final game. So oh, another my play, two in a row, number ten now. Jesus. Let's see what we have though. Oh, we haven't had this clip. And that's from 
the spider, the spider loved me. So I don't clip we haven't had. Said goodbye to an uninvited guest. <laughs> Said goodbye to an uninvited guest. Shoot down that helicopter. Whoa! Down goes the helicopter. Name the millionaire villain in this movie. Carl Stromberg, I think was that guy's name. But another completed my play. We hadn't had that clip before. So Yeah, but it is Carl Stromberg and it's from the Spider Love Me. Back to all plays, number seventeen. Oh, it's translations. This was not in the last game, but it reappears here. Alright, looks like that's one of the Connery films. Um... Oh, it's Goldfinger. Ah. Star, so it's a trivia card now. Christopher Walken, who starred in A View to a Kill, won a Best Supporting Actor Oscar in 1978 for what film? The Deer Hunter. Another all play, number 18. Alright, Invisibles, identify the movie. That, oh man, we've had that one. That was from, um, what was it? Oh, it was Living Daylights. And it landed on the star, so it's another all play. Number 19. Assignment. Monte Carlo. St. Petersburg. Cuba. Um. Wasn't he in St. Petersburg and Goldeneye? Oh, wait. Oh, it is Goldeneye. Alright. Trivia card. Which of these actors has never played a Bond villain? Christopher Walken, Tommy Lee Jones, or Grace Jones? I'm gonna say Tommy Lee Jones. Yep. Because Christopher Walken is, um, Max Zorn in A View to a Kill. I don't know who Grace Jones was, but apparently she played one. And we're on all play to win, so we finished this with 20 all plays and 10 my plays. Let's see what our last all play of James Bond senior game 4 is going to be. Even if I get it right, I'm still going to do Final Cut. So either way. And the sound clips. See a mongoose dance, or a scorpion with sunstroke sting itself to death, 
for a praying mantis eat her husband after making love? I hate to admit it, but I have. Well, I have. She's right. Doctor, no. Yep. Yeah. Now, I said that even though I got it right, I'm still going to do the, um... The final cut. Now, I'll do the whole win sequence once I get all the final cuts correct. Because I want to show, like, the names of the, the songs, like... Well, I actually want to ask it. Like, which Bond film is that piece of music from that appears when you, whenever you get to the last answer on 